Hello. Um, I want to give you a vaccination schedule for backyard and commercial broiler production. This is because many farmers are asking questions on this, that they need vaccination schedule for all poultry beds. In this content, let's start with backyard and commercial broiler production vaccination schedule. This is for synthetic vaccination. Once your birds arise, assuming you are buying from a far distance, the birds must have been dehydrated completely. And most of the birds that travel far journey arrive between the hour of 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Before you even go and pick the birds, make sure your poultry brooding room is well prepared. Make sure you have the thermometer there. You have water, neat water, and all the utensils must have been washed and placed in order. There, there be glucose in that water. So immediately they arrive, count them and put them in the brooding room. There is no heat that time. Don't add any heat. Don't raise anything like heat for them. Please, they are already stressed up. Then once introduce them to the water, the weak ones, please try and put their pick in that water to make sure they sip that water. Make sure they sip it, depending on the type of brooding method you are using. Make sure you put their mouth in the water to make sure they drink that water. Once they are fully hydrated, you see that their legs will start becoming stiff and becoming ploppy. But before then, they look dry and completely dehydrated. So, after hydrating them with glucose and multivitamin in water, give them water for complete six hours. Allow them to drink the water for complete six hours before introducing any food at all. For me, most of the times, I leave them for the next day till before I give them food. Let them drink enough water. Don't add any antibiotics in that water. Let there be only multivitamin, either synthetic or organic, depending on the type of poultry you are into. Now, after that day one, at hatchery, if you book your bears from a very reputable hatchery, they normally give what we call Marek's disease vaccine in the hatchery. This particular one is subcutaneous root. So they normally do this at the, at the hatchery. You don't need to worry yourself. Once you are buying from a reputable hatchery, this must have been done. So before the best gets to you. Now, between that day one to day seven, continue giving them multivitamin in water. Most of you will introduce antibiotics. Antibiotics is not necessary at all for a healthy bird, unless you discover any sign of e health in them. But perhaps there is nothing like that. Please give them multivitamin and water to enable them eat. Provide light for them two, two hours. I believe that you must have watched my brooding series between day 1 to 21 days, mostly for beginners. Now, on day 7, between day 5 and day 7, Give them first shot of Lasota, NDV Lasota, that is Newcastle disease vaccine Lasota, through oral method. Now, between that day 5, day 7, to day 14, continue giving them neat water with food and light at night and provide heat for them when it's cold. And you know the adequate normal temperature for them. Please, if you have not known that, please watch my video on how to brood poultry bed, zero mortality poultry bed from day 1 to day, day 21. Then watch it properly well. You know what I'm telling you about. Provide meat water for them. If there is no sign of e-head, please don't introduce anything like antibodies unless there is sign of e-head. Then on day 14 to 16, give them IBD, infectious Brousset vaccine in water this should be administered through oral give it to them in water then continue with your normal water neat water with multivitamin inside 
to day 21, between day 21 to 25, repeat that IBDV vaccine. Repeat it. Because it must be given before the third week. Please, after third week, there is no need giving them IBDV again. After third week. Now, between day 25 to 28, 28, give them needs water always and food and every other thing they need. Then, second Lasota comes between 28 to 38 day. Give them second Lasota oral also. After this, continue giving them multivitamin and food, including heat. After 30 days, they don't need heat. Their body can now regulate their own body temperature by themselves because they are already grown a lot further. Right time for you to say them between six weeks to eight weeks, you must have sold off your beds. If your beds exceed eight weeks, you will hardly make profit unless you are selling for a special purpose. Please, this vastation schedule is generally for every poultry farmer, but you can still consult your veterinarian in your locality to know the prevalent viral infection that stops most of the poultry birds in that area, you can start with that particular vaccine. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Please share this video to reach other farmers. If you by now have not subscribed to this channel, do that right now. Click the right button, subscribe, and activate the notification bell so that anytime I release an interesting video, most of the most of the videos are coming in series now. So I'll be able to get uh, immediately it's released. You get immediate notification by the app so that you watch it at the right time. Thank you for sharing the video. Thank you for giving it a thumb up if you appreciate this video. Bye, till I come with another interesting topic. Bye for now.